campaign group in Chelmsford has just over a month to raise £380,000 to keep a slice of radio history in the city. Guglielmo Marconi, known as the inventor of radio, based himself in the town from the start of the 1900s. The first factory its operations were run from is due to be converted to flats unless the money can be raised for a section to be kept as a heritage and learning centre. Anna Pesper reports. All over Chelmsford are signs of the city's Marconi heritage. The world's inventor of radio chose Chelmsford as his base. And it was in this factory in 1899 that the first wireless equipment was ever manufactured. Now an empty building, it's on the brink of being converted into flats. Yeah, I mean, on the ground floor, there would have been uh, all overhead um, pulleys, driving lathes and machine tools, lots of material stores, and then upstairs was more like a laboratory. Campaign group Marconi Science Works is trying to raise money to keep part of the building dedicated to Marconi by turning it into a heritage and science hub. I think it is of international importance. Lots of people have done experimental work in laboratories, but the idea of actually producing a product that could be sold to many people started here. The equipment that Marconi built for uh, finding out whether you could actually send a wireless message across the Atlantic was built here. The wireless set that was on board the Titanic was made in this factory. The ship's captain used it to make contact with shore. So, as a direct result of the equipment made here, 700 people were rescued. Guglielmo Marconi is credited with being the inventor of radio, being the first to transmit signals over about a mile and a half in 1895. His wireless telegraph and signal company opened its first factory in Chelmsford four years later. By 1965, the company had 13 divisions, with factories in Chelmsford, Baddo, Basildon, Billericay and Rittle. The Marconi factory on New Street in Chelmsford closed in 2008, ending more than 100 years of history. The building on Hall Street is the last in Chelmsford with that link to Marconi that hasn't already been converted to flats or apartments. The developer has given the group until the end of July to raise £380,000 to realise their plans. Here in Old Motion we'll have a cafe where people can interact. You'll have exhibitions actually explaining the engineering heritage and the technology heritage. But most importantly we'll be running STEM clubs and that science, technology, engineering and mathematics clubs for young children, anything from sort of five upwards. The idea being that we'll be able to inspire children but also parents in the future of technology. Marconi was only 24 years old when he bought the factory. By keeping part of its history in place, says the campaign group, future generations of young scientists will follow. Hannah Pettifer, ITV News, Chelmsford.